Welcome to the HyperIP for VMware installation video. In this video, we will create the HyperIP virtual appliance, configure the HyperIP for your network, and we'll show you how to request and install keys. This video assumes you have downloaded and extracted the HyperIP package, are working with vSphere 4.0 or greater hosts, and there are resources available to install HyperIP on the hosts. When the HyperIPs are installed in the data path, Data sent from server Fulham to server Mats will be directed to HyperIP Arsenal and wrapped in the HyperIP protocol for delivery across the WAN. If Fulham wants to communicate to a server external to the remote ESXi host, it would follow a similar path. In this video, HyperIP Arsenal will be used as an example. We will require the host name, data port IP address with network mask, and the default gateway. The Quick Start Guide in the download package contains data sheets to assist in gathering your site information. Using vSphere Client, connect to vCenter or your host to begin the installation. Select your ESX or ESXi host and deploy OVF template. Select Deploy from File and browse to your save file. Provide a virtual machine name, in this case, Arsenal. Select the data store to install HyperIP if appropriate. When adding HyperIP interfaces, the top interface is used for all HyperIP data transfers. This interface is mandatory and may also be used for management. Map this interface to the network your servers and storage will use to communicate with HyperIP. The second interface is used only when a separate management network is required. When the virtual appliance installation is complete, power it on. Open a console to configure HyperIP onto the network. The default user ID and password are HIP admin, H -I -P -A -D -M -I -N. In the CLI, a question mark lists the commands available. Shift page up and down allow movement in the console to view commands that may have scrolled off the page. Tab will complete a command or give you a list of possible completions. Entering a command and then question mark will provide options for that command. Configure the hostname using the command cfg hostname name. Configure the data interface using the command cfg interface data ip address netmask interface speed and MTU. Configure the default gateway using the command config default gateway and then the IP address. To allow user communication with these interfaces, we need to configure access. I will allow HTTPS on the data port using the command CFG access on data HTTPS. I will also enable ping so we can verify connectivity. If you're using the management port, execute these commands for the management interface. Management interface is defined as MGMT. Note the data and management interfaces cannot be on the same subnet. The initial interface configuration is complete. Check the restarts necessary to implement changes by executing show restarts. For the changes we made, a reboot is required. Enter reboot. When the reboot is completed and HyperIP is connected to your network, log in using a web browser. What is the default password? That's right, HIP admin, H -I -P -A -D -M -I -N. You should set your password to meet your site requirements by using the change admin password area on this page. The HyperIP serial number will be displayed in the left panel. Copy the serial number, making sure you capture all the characters. Request a HyperIP key by going to netx.com. Click the Request a Key link at the top of the page. 
copy the serial numbers into the HyperIP serial numbers text box, fill in the information. If you received an email with a download request reference number, enter your email address and the reference number and click Retrieve My Info to fill in the data. Select the key type. Complete the request by reading and accepting the license agreement. Keys will be sent via email. The upper left pane has drop down menus for navigation, help, and common commands. Navigate to the Install Commands page. Enter the key in the box and click Install Key. After installing the key, we need to start the HyperIP software. Select Restart Force and click Services Apply. Confirm the restart. You've just learned how to use the template to create a HyperIP virtual appliance. Learn to configure interface and access parameters to install HyperIP on the network, and you've learned to request and install keys. Now you're ready to complete the configuration using the browser user interface. View the configuration video for the next steps. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us.